Chris Godinas, licensed professional counselor, also the host of We Need to Talk on every Sunday at noon, and then I post these videos up to Facebook and stuff. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. The views and opinions stated here are mine or mine alone. They do not represent the ACA, the APA, or any other therapist for that matter. Boom shakalaka done. I'd like to thank my sponsor. Where am I? Where am I? Where, no, this one. BetterHelp. B E T T E R H E L P. BetterHelp.com slash Chris Godinas. They're an online therapy company, they are international. They are easy to use. I've gotten really good feedback from people. They are affordable, and that's why I like them. So thank you, betterhelp.com slash Chris Godinas. Okay, on to the question. So I've had several questions this week on why the abusers project. What is up with that? What is the game? What's going on? So please remember, guys, I get people all the way from brand new just now discovering that they've been in an abusive relationship all the way up to I've, I've gone through it. I've healed. I'm processing. I'm, I'm out. I'm getting better personally, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So please be patient because I'm going to answer any questions that come up because I want everybody to understand what they are dealing with so that they don't have to deal with it anymore. So, all right. So projection, the question was on projection. Why do they project when they are so obviously in the wrong, hand in the cookie jar, they're the one doing what they say you're doing, what's going on with that? All right, so projection is an ego defense. Remember, you are dealing with a narcissist usually. They are all ego. They cannot be wrong. They have to be right, literally about everything. One of my dad's favorite saying was, is I'm not wrong, I'm just temporarily confused. Yeah, or I'm not lost. I'm just temporarily confused. I'm like, uh, yeah. So anyway, the point being is they can never be wrong. They, when they can't deal with something that they themselves are doing and they don't want to be caught, they will flip the script and start spewing everything that they're doing, but they'll accuse you of it. So let's say that they are cheating. They are having an affair. They are you know, doing whatever, they will flip the script and be like, you're cheating, you're having an affair, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's all the things that they're doing. So that's why as soon as I hear somebody start spewing all of these you, 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 you guns, that's what I call it. So when a narcissist gets caught with their hand in the cookie jar, they start projecting, okay? They start accusing the person who has caught them of all the things that they are doing because they're trying to throw aspersions onto the accuser as opposed to onto themselves. So I call them the you, 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 you guns. You did this, you did that, you're doing this, you're doing that, it's you, it's you, it's you. Okay, well, so there's two fingers pointed out. There are six fingers pointed right back at that abuser. Do you see where I'm going with that? So they will do that, that you know, they'll, and they'll basically, it's almost like a confession. It's the weirdest thing. So if you're in a relationship and this person that you suspect being abusive suddenly starts spewing all of these you, 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 you stuff. Listen very carefully. They're giving you a confession as to what they are doing. I know it's it, mind blowing. It really is. So they are literally confessing. They are literally telling you everything that they're doing, but because we are still in cognitive dissonance, we're in denial. You know, it's like we don't want to accept what we don't want to accept. And so we discount it. I mean, and that's the thing that is so heartbreaking is that very often, in fact, in every case that I have seen, when the abuser starts spewing and doing the projection, they tell the target of abuse exactly who they are, what they are doing and what they're going to do. You know, well, you're going to leave me you're going to break my heart. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. When in reality, it's the abuser that's going to do all that. So, you know, I feel sorry for my family and friends. Why? <laughs> Why would you feel sorry for your family and friends unless you were planning on doing something really awful to them? You know, that's really what it is. So, you know, that whole thing, they tell you 110% who they are, what they are going to do. It's a confessional almost, but because we are in the cognitive dissonance and the denial and not accepting what we know to be true, you know, cause we don't want to accept it cause it's too horrible to consider. We kick it out. We're just, Oh no, that couldn't possibly, no, no, there's just, 
you know, they're confused or they're, you know, whatever. No, when somebody starts accusing you of things that you have not done and you know you have not done them and you know that they know that you have not done them, <coughs> that person is giving you a confession. That person is telling you what they're doing. I know, it sucks. So that's why they do it. It's an ego defense. They're trying to defend themselves. They don't want to deal with the aspects of themselves that they know to be true. You know, they don't want to deal with having to change their narcissistic behavior. They don't. That's, they just don't. And so they will accuse their partner of everything that they are doing. Well, you're cheating. You're stealing. You're lying. You know, that's a big one. If they start accusing you of lying and you know you haven't lied, it, you need to start taking a look at that other person. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so they will absolutely accuse us of the things that they are doing. And it is literally a confession. They literally will just, you know, spew it all out. Well, you're cheating. You're lying. You're you're stealing money. You're you're going to leave me. You're going to abandon me. You know, blah, 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 blah. When re in reality, they're already looking for an exit because they know you're on to them. So that is what that's about. It's avoiding responsibility, essentially. If they can flip the script, and project onto you, the scapegoat, all of the horrible things that they are in fact doing themselves, then they don't have to deal with it. It's all you. Well, it's not me, it's you. How cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs is that? I mean, seriously, it's like healthy, normal people. Thank you, Lucky. Healthy, normal people know what they've done, know what they're doing, Take personal responsibility. Don't blame other people. Don't blame shift. Don't project. You know, they don't try to weasel their way out of whatever situation. It's like, you know, when you screw up, you go, you know what? I screwed up. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And you make amends and you move on. With a narcissist, it's like, well, uh, well, but you made me. Or, well, but you do it too. That's their favorite. You know, you do it too. So they're projecting. Again, that's a projection. You do it too. It's like, no. <laughs> you know. So that's what you gotta watch for. It's like if they do the you did do it too, you're, you know, you're this, you're that, you, 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 you guns, that's all projection. And they're projecting all of their stuff onto you so that they get out of the responsibility of having to deal with it. Because what do they hate more than anything else? Having to apologize, because they don't know how. So projection is a way to avoid responsibility. It's a way to flip the script. It's a way to uh, make the partner feel, start doubting. That's that's exactly what partners start doing. They go, wow, did I, did I do that? Am, am I this way? No, you're not. And listen, they're showing you who they are. Believe them the first time. Honest to God, if somebody starts projecting on you, get the hell out. Leave. They're not going to change. It's only going to get worse. They do not get better. They get worse as they age they do not get better they don't because they don't want to and they don't feel they need to because in a narcissist's mind in somebody who's an abuser they think they're perfect they literally think they are perfect they literally think they've never done a wrong thing in their life that they're never wrong you know they're always right they know exactly where they are at all times when they're not you know, I mean, they're just, they're cuckoo and they're dangerous. They really are. When they get to that, as they slide down the spectrum, they will start believing their own lies. And it's scary to watch somebody spew about somebody else, knowing that they're talking about themselves. And yet they believe the spew that they're spewing about the other person. I mean, it's really frightening to watch because then in their mind, that clears them of any moral responsibility for whatever then happens to that person. Do you see why it's so dangerous? They use that as the justification to hit, harm, abuse, yell at, scream, throw things at, etc. Because in their mind, you are all the things that they just spewed onto you. When it's really them, they are dangerous. Get the hell out. Listen to me now. Believe me later. You cannot save them because you did not break them. So anyway, that is what projection is. That is why they do it. It's a defense. It's a way of avoiding responsibility. It's a way of making the partner doubt themselves. It's, it's dangerous. 
get the hell out. If you see, if you have a partner that's doing that, you have a boss that's doing that, you have a family member that's doing that, get away. Save yourself. All right. So on Sunday, we are going to be talking about prepare yourself for success and how to help yourself along on your journey. You know, once you've left the abusive relationship and now you're, you know, you've gone through that lonely stage where it's like, uh, you know, and now you're ready to write a book, start, maybe start dating again, you know, get a different career or get back into your old career or whatever, you know, start dealing with your finances because boy, howdy, abusers love to financially abuse their targets of abuse. So we're going to talk about all of that. We're going to talk about prepare yourself for success best revenge is living well and we're going to talk about how to do it so all right my loves you guys go have a great week and i will talk to you later bye